what's up it's big sexy trapper here to show you guys how to take care of a skunk we're talking about fresh killed skunk they're a very easy animal to take care of when I say take care of I mean skin flesh and board and uh, in this video here I'll be doing all of that and um, anybody can do this this is a proper way in my opinion to take care of an animal and respect it and use every last bit of it yes YouTube no blood this will be blood free this is for educational purposes only um, it appears to be a nice male pretty uh, pretty decent sized skunk and, um, let me back this up for you guys so you can see and uh, I'll get to it so take my knife I'll run my knife over the sharpener now that I'm sharpened I start by taking the feet and just cutting the feet cutting around we're going to remove the feet on the the front feet and the back we just cut around and the fur will just come right down um, then we will take from the hind side where the heel is and where this short underside this belly fur and the crotch um, back belly area meets the long fur and we're going to run that line straight up on an angle so kind of like here and here so we're left with a triangle right around the anus area so let's run my knife in here come up along the line just work my own work it right up towards the base of the tail right above and then from here I'm going to come across another line oh no I nicked the juice oh no 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 Ooh, my girl's gonna be mad she's gonna be mad oh man well bloopers are bloopers right so I failed to mention as you do this watch out for the glands not like as if you waste a little bit of skunk juice the essence is great for trapping I actually harvest it here in this bottle and I use a medical syringe that I buy at tractor supply to get it out of the glands in the back um, this is amazing for trapping lures especially long distance call lures um, the smell really carries in the wind really brings the predators in Anything from coyote, fox, bobcat, um, fisher cats absolutely love it. And to be honest, I just cracked the whole sack in here and uh, spilt everywhere. I don't mind the smell. I'm a trapper. For other people, they'd probably be gagging. And I'm also expecting my wife to come down and scream at me because I promised her that it wouldn't smell. So, in saying that, get ready for it. Well, let's get back to the skinning process here. There we go. You guys can see the yellow staining in here. I tried soaking up the best I could. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be in trouble. So let's work around the side here a little bit. Work up around the back of the tail here. Hold on, y'all. I just got the text message. I'm about to get my butt whooped. And we're back. Sorry about that. I got yelled at. But, as you can see, we just work our way down and just get a little pinch. Keep working it. This is the skin. You get a good grip and just start pulling down. 
Now being that it's later on in the winter here, um, we're, we're approaching about midwinter. These animals are going to be fatty. And, uh, man, I hope I didn't bust both of these open. I think I might have bust both of these, <laughs> these sacks open, or just one. Hoping just one. Anyhow, they're super fatty, so work your knife and be careful to not nick your fur. It's okay if you nick a little bit for those first timers, but for the most part, just try to be careful with it. Especially with skunks, definitely uh, be careful with um, the sacks there. Uh, I was definitely not careful. And I'm in the doghouse. But, anywho, just pull down, start pulling, work your way around, slice here gently to the tail, and um, you could buy tail strippers from your local trap supply or, you know, a website like F&T Fur Harvest. And um, that's basically what you do is uh, take the tail stripper, put it around the tail, make sure you're freed up, put it around the tail here. Sometimes you have to sometimes you have to adjust and work your knife around the base of the tail. Ooh, I smell dusty. Man, I'm in so much trouble. You guys have no idea. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, it's all fun and games, so you spill skunk essence in the basement. Uh, I'm gonna hear it for like a week. Personally, I think she jinxed me, but... Anyhow. <laughs> oh, let me not talk too much. But yeah, so just work all this fat around this tail. Make sure it's freed up down to the skin. To free it up more and more. Okay, that ought to be okay here. Let me work it down a little bit more in order for that stripper to function perfectly. Just come around this tail, pull down a little bit. <coughs> And take the stripper. I use a U bolt that they use in a construction. Fits perfectly around it. You take it. You take the butt of this, and without ripping the tail up. Ooh. Woo, man! I got skunk all over me. I'm gonna be in so much trouble, y'all. It's not even funny. Exactly how much trouble I'm gonna be in. I'll work the skin a little bit farther down. Sometimes they could be a little pesky. The idea is to get the the stripper in where the tail meets the meat and then pull. As you can see, you got a perfect strip. And the tail hole. And then Take one of these tail splitters so you could open up your tail to avoid any uh, type of funk to go on and just rip her straight down. You'll lose a little bit of hair, that's fine. To the trash. Just make sure you check and make sure it's fully open. Right to the bottom. And perfect. And then from here on. I'll bring this down a little bit for you, but from here on, just take the paws, front paws, cut down on the joint, snap, come up from behind it, pull, and in. Same thing with the other foot. Just bend it at the joint, cut, sometimes this comes right off. So what I'll do is I'll pull this all the way down until I get to the head section. I mean that this is fresh. It's really just coming off easy. Um, you just run this around. 
There's going to be a little bit here by the shoulders. You take the elbows, you get under that elbow, pop through the other side. With your finger. And what I like to do is just pull down and pull up. That's I'm getting texts from the old lady upstairs. She is absolutely livid. Um, ladies, if your man's a trapper, if you hear he's a trapper, get ready. Because we all smell like skunk all the time. Pop that off. Pull down. Get to the skull area here. I like to really get in here. And just gently come around. Cut the ears. You can feel the ear butts in there. Come around the front. You get the mouth open. You're going to start hitting the eyes. When you hit the eyes, go nice and easy. Make sure you cut in and peel at the same time. So you don't blow out your eye. Um, your eyelid area is there. Perfect. Oop, got some blood there. Sorry, YouTube. Come over here, do the same thing. Get the eye butt. Just work it down. Cross the bridge of the nose. Around the mouth area. Pull down. The bottom lip area, we don't need that. And that's it. It's all done. So I'll get this on the board here. Slide that down. Make my board a little skunky. Grab any extra dripping. Take this down. And that's about it. I'll see you when we get to the fleshing.